All right, so uh, here we have our uh, our wall panel for one of the recording studio rooms, and as you see, um, we've got our input side. We've, we've got our second row here, the multi. Out, sorry, I can't really get it on screen the way my my desk and everything is oriented. Um, and then we also have some auxiliary sends and tie lines, uh, etc. So uh, I just really quickly wanted to kind of show you a couple of things that I do to get these things prepped for installation in the actual studio rooms. Um, so let me just get started here. Uh, we're going to tin the cups here for all of the connectors because that's going to really make it a lot easier for us to um, to get these wires set. So I'm just taking some solder and I'm heating up these cups. I'm trying not to get in your way so it's really kind of awkward. But I do want to show you what we can do to make our install time a little bit shorter and what I'm going to do in the in the studio is um, I'm going to strip those wires back uh, get everything labeled and I'm going to tin the ends of each wire in there so that way when I bring the panel in all I got to do is heat up the the cups from the bottom side a little bit and stick the wire in and we should have a pretty solid connection without too much huss and fuss and what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that I get a small pool of solder on the tip of each one of these and sometimes if the plate is if you have it propped up on something like I do it's probably not the best way to do it but um, this is how I've, I've got it so that the camera's set up and you can see what I'm doing. But sometimes if it's leaned back too much, the, the solder tends to want to go towards the, the back of the cup. So just make sure that you're getting a small dab right there at the tip of each of these cups. Um, and you'll see that the connectors above the ones, the row that I'm working on right now, it's got um, a few more, a few more cups on it, and they're also smaller, which is not a big deal for us. But um, the one thing that I do want to mention is that some of those are combo XLR TRS connectors, they're Neutric connectors, and um, in order for the combo plug to work properly, we're going to have to jump a couple of those pins over. I'm not sure why they're not jumped over. From the factory, maybe maybe because there's different applications and pinouts that people use, but I guess it would be nice if I didn't have to build a bunch of jumper cables and um, solder them on there. But anyways, no big deal. Just finishing up these last couple cups here on this on this first row, and I'll go up uh, up one row to those combo connectors and get those going and you know I'm not really going to do those on camera but what I do is is I, I take this thing this whole this whole panel and, I, and I'll just rotate it a couple of times because these the cups on the on these combo jacks here are, are oriented in different directions so I can't just I can't fill these cups from from one orientation so I'll do I'll do these uh, these top cups um, and then I'll rotate it 90 degrees and I'll do the side cups all the way down and then I'll rotate it another 90 degrees and I'll do the bottom cups and, and so on until they're all done. Um, right here I've got Ethernet connections and above that I just have some quarter inches and, and uh, you can see some other videos on how to prep those for, uh, for wiring. So here we go on, on the first combo. I'm trying not to block the light here but just want to give you an idea of what I'm doing. It's really quick and easy. I've got my iron um, set to a good temperature, so it doesn't take long. Sorry about that. Um, it doesn't take long for this to get 
to get um, wet. It's set to about um, 700 degrees Fahrenheit. So all it takes is a little touch of the bottom of the cup there. And oop, my little prop in the back is slipping on me a little bit, but really doesn't take much at all. It's just going to make your install so much easier when you're in the room and you've just got bundles of snakes and all that you've got to deal with. I mean, the last thing you want to do is have to deal with a bunch of, you know, soldering and have to do all this precision work where if you can just go in there and, and heat it up and stick a wire to it let it cool it's really not too bad so here's my last combo connectors really just kind of trying to speed through this for you guys and stay out of the way so you can see it on the camera Yeah, so I'm just going to rotate this, do all the other cups, and uh, we'll be probably doing the jumpers on these combo plugs next. So, see you then.